Hey y'all. So it's probably almost too dark to see tonight. So we're just gonna do a really quick walk around. The succulents are doing really well. Made a mistake getting wooden boxes. Even though they don't get a whole lot of water, the kind of humidity and moisture and rain. Well, yeah. So they're all splitting. I've got new pots on the way for them. But as a whole, the succulents are doing good. Cilantro is doing really good. It smells wonderful. Everything's good. Check out the pumpkin. So the pumpkin, yeah, um, I'm not gonna do them on the patio again. Pros and cons. So cons obviously being that we have pumpkin strosity. Huge, they're, you know, I'm five foot on a good day and they're almost to uh, three and a half, maybe four feet. That's definitely four feet right here. So they're big. The cool thing is they um, provide well needed shade for everything underneath of them. So stuff like cosmos and nasturtium, stuff that's pretty delicate. Um, it's also forcing some of the plants to move up higher than they normally would. I do feed them um, in addition to watering because basically look at it like this. Um, if I gave you nothing but water for months and months and months and put you in a corner or under something like this you probably wouldn't make it because you need nutrition as well as water as well as fluids same thing applies to a lot of plants if they're in the wild they get that from everything that decomps all the all the compost and stuff in the forest floor or wherever it is that they grow they get enough nutrition because there's constantly changing circumstances there's constantly leaves falling there's things that are rotting there's things that are providing nutrition when you put them in a pot and just throw dirt at them um, not so much hey there's there's the pumpkin one of them um, so I've been reading a lot on them on the average pumpkin plant this being one produces three to five pumpkins roughly so super lucky if I get more than that one super super lucky if I get five um, rascals eaten one that I know of uh, squirrels have gotten one that I've seen and I have two on this plant growing healthy and one coming up because one was already eaten I have one somewhere under here I apologize for the um, for the air conditioner but it's uh <laughs> In the shade it's still pretty darn hot I'm trying to find it it might be too dark for this tonight there it is right there so that's the pumpkins everything else is doing well the hibiscus is going crazy there's hop sing she's the three-legged rescue cat but everything looks good here i don't know if i'm gonna have enough light down in the garden but we're gonna see real quick Ah, cool. Um, the phone puts light on the subject. So tomatoes coming back with a vengeance, which I didn't expect. Um, they're doing pretty well. Um, I've got some cherries and sweet one millions back here. The Irish paste, ah, they just didn't do good. And I'm, I've never tried to grow them before. I've grown the heck out of aromas and they shouldn't be that different, but obviously I think it's me. I did something wrong and I have no idea what it is. Morning Glory was not planted, but it's taken over, but it's also providing shade. I have sunflowers, which are providing now, and I, that might be a reason they're not getting scorched. Um, the sun rises back here and it sets over here. And maybe I should have planned a little bit better, but this gets in the summer, like, uh, 10 hours 12 of daylight beans doing fantastic i've probably gathered two two to three pounds 
off the beans. The heritage black beans are doing great. They turn purple. Um, so, <laughs> so many cucumbers. Here's one, two, three, four, five. There's just, there's a ton. Got a few squash bugs. Not super worried about it. What I really want to show you is the next batch of squash. So there's one that I found. That's the next one. So I've already gotten four off of here, but that's a good squash. And then I've got a little tiny baby one somewhere over here, somewhere. Um, right there. So everything is um, kind of going crazy. So if we take you back to when we started this journey, I'll show a picture <laughs> of that right now. On this side, we got moths going crazy. They're probably the moths that lay hornworm eggs. Um, oh, and here's a bunch more. There's a bunch more cucumbers. Super crazy. Bushels and bushels. There's another one there. Uh, I'm literally, I'm going to have dozens and dozens. Enough to feed a community. Which is good. It's what you want. You want to be able to sustain. Eventually. Um, but cucumbers... Well, I don't know how they'll winter. So we'll figure out pickles. Yeah, you can do pickles. You're right. Uh, my climbing beans are doing good. The peas, I've gotten about a half a pound out of, and they're kind of buried between the beans and the, uh, the cucumber craziness and squash. So everything, everything's looking pretty good right now. We've been getting a lot of rain. We had a ton, ton, ton of rain this past week. But lots of green. I've only had a few hornworms, but I know that I'm just now getting into the season. That one should ripen up pretty well. So fingers crossed, prayers up, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. It's dark. I've watered. I'm watering in the evening because they're exhausted, and I'm watering in the morning about 6.30 so that it doesn't get insane and not tons of water just enough to give them a quick soak so that they don't get completely crazy in the hundred plus degree heat that we've been having and live and learn i am learning so much about gardening this year hope you guys are enjoying these videos it's not my usual but it's uh it's really fun for me and thanks for coming along fireflies are up I'm going to go have a nightcap, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, and happy casting. Oh, yeah, if you're still with me, there's going to be a really cool spray session coming up this week. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it edited and posted by the weekend. I'm filming this Thursday night, so tomorrow I'm going to shoot, and then hopefully by next Monday or Tuesday, maybe this weekend, but probably not. I know, I'm all over the place. It's been a long day. Um, I'm going to get it up as soon as I can. Cheers. Happy casting. Happy gardening from Jekyll Bates.